Hi guys, welcome to Short No Life. So on today's video, Rosalind reached out again and asked me did I want to review another gel polish kit and I of course said yes. So I'm so excited to share this video with you guys. This is another Christmas video and I love the set. I love how it turned out. You guys saw the thumbnail. I'm just so happy with this set. So with these set of colors, as you can see, they're your neutral colors. I realized that a lot of us can't afford right now to just have like a whole bunch of gel paints and things like that. So when I saw this kit, it immediately made me think about drawing. And I was like, this is the perfect kit for you guys to see how you could take one kit and kind of draw with it, if that makes sense. So that's what made me pick this kit today. So you guys saw the ingredients, the instructions, and the frequently asked questions. That's what I just showed you. And here's the first color. It is like a brown color. It's of course a neutral color, which is kind of the theme of this kit. I feel like these are all neutral colors. These are like very perfect for me to draw with. And it's something that I reach for all of the times. The browns, not so much, but black, white, and gray. I reach for these all of the times. You'll be surprised how much I reach for these. So this is a dark gray. And I kind of realized I don't even own a gray. So I was so happy when I saw this came in the kit. And I mix up my gray. So I know how much <laughs> I reach for this color. So yeah, this is something I normally use a lot. This is light gray. These are so pretty. I know they're neutral, but they're all just so pretty. And then this is the black. You guys know I love their black. I've been using it for years. It's two coats and it's opaque. I have no issues with it. And for black and white, which I'm gonna show you the white in a second, I always just put these right there beside my top coats because I am gonna use these frequently. I constantly reach for these. And like, it's annoying to pull them out of somewhere else. So they go right in with my top coats. <laughs> So to start off, I'm going to use this red gel polish. This came out the kit before the previous, one of the previous kits I um, reviewed for them. And I will leave that link in the description box down below. There's also a coupon code in the description box as well. And today is Black Friday. So they're already on sale. So I'm just going to start building the nails up. You guys know I do a slip layer. Do a product down the middle and then I float it to the sides of the nails. And then I will flash cure it at this point. And then I do another slip layer. And then I do a bigger bead. And I will start that at the cuticle area. And I kind of do a pressing motion, which you can't see. And then I'll slowly drag that product down the nail. And one day I will do this in a slow kind of more explaining video. But I really want to get so good at it. I have no issue. Well, I still have issues. But I really want to get really, really good at it before I do a breakdown video of how I do my application. But I tell you guys all the time, I love the way I do it because I never miss my sidewalls which is the place that I was struggling to cover when I did the other method of which was just coming straight from the cuticle. I will always miss something, but I kind of figured out what I was doing wrong. So I know if, even if I do that pro um, process now, I probably could feel it more. So I forgot to mention, I am building these up a little bit more off camera. And that's because I felt like they didn't have a high enough apex. I would not do that, what I'm doing right now is perfectly fine and I'm gonna tell you why it's because I'm gonna put on so many layers that I did not need to build those up because it's just gonna make the nails bulky at the end so the pointer and the pinky they were a little bit bulky but nobody could tell I don't think anybody could tell so I put this base coat on top of this red nail which I did that because I wanted that as my background for these glitters and I also did it in the beginning because I didn't want to accidentally build this nail up I'm sorry I just kind of went over that but that's why I did it and I did do two coats of this red so I'm just putting this glitter kind of everywhere and this has some shapes in it but I'm just picking out the red and the white glitters for this set I don't have like a, a real reason or why to put it where I'm putting it I'm just putting it everywhere and I kind of do two coats so 
I just did the first coat and I cured it. Now I'm doing a second coat of glitter because I really want the glitter to just be on the nails. I want it to be impactful, if that makes sense. Especially the white because it's not really shimmery, but I want you to see it. And so I've cured that one as well. And now I'm kind of encapsulating the glitter with this base coat so that when I go to encapsulate it with my clear builder gel, what I'm doing right now, it won't get back into the big container of clear builder gel. It won't contaminate it. So I just do the same process. I do a slip layer, take a big bead, bring it down the middle of the nail, but not toward the cuticle. And I float that to the side walls. And then I will, of course, flash cure that. I flash cure for about 20 seconds and then I'll do another slip layer and then I'll do a bigger bead as well and I'll bring that down the nail so I filed shape off camera and this is what I came up with and I'm just putting base coat now on all of the nails so that they have a nice even surface for me to work on So I'm gonna do two coats of this color. Now, as you can see, there is already a new color on here. And because this color is kind of light, it's gonna kind of affect the shade that I come out with. But I'm not mad at it. I think it was still really cute and I love it. I just, I love it. I think it's really cute. It did make it a tad bit pink, more pink because this is a more neutral shade. And I did do two coats of that off camera. And then I'm doing this red on this finger as well. And I do two coats of this as well off camera. So now I'm just going to put red only on about a third of this nail. And I think I'm supposed to do this the opposite way. But I forgot. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to put white on first and then the red. But it turned out the way I wanted it, so I'm not upset. But I think a candy cane is actually white and with red stripes instead of red with white stripes. So if you want to do be more accurate, do it the opposite way than what I did. But right now, I just put two coats of one of that red, and now I'm putting a matte top coat on everything. And this is why I said you want to file your nails a little bit thinner because I did do too many coats. I wasn't thinking about that in the beginning, or I would have put some of this inside of the nail. And you don't have to matte out the ring. I actually did that accidentally because I am going to bling it out later on. So it didn't need a matte top coat. It was just an accident. <laughs> so I'm just going to draw some candy cane stripes on the pinky. And that's why I said this kit really made me think about all the things you could do with these neutral colors. And that's kind of what I was trying to showcase is like... This is perfect for drawing. These colors are perfect for drawing. You will always kind of reach for these type of colors. So I was so happy that I could create these for you guys. Um, I will be honest, I did two coats of both of the white stripes. And I did that because I kind of was unsure what I wanted to do. Like I was unsure if this was going to turn out well. So on the first coat, I didn't worry about perfection. I kind of just slapped it on here. And then on the second coat, which I don't film, I go in and I perfect all of my lines. I kind of make everything neat, kind of make it proportionate. I do all of that on the second coat because on the first coat, I just, I was just trying to like get an idea of what I really want, if that makes sense. So what I'm trying to show you is that I'm making the lines go into the inside, um, if that makes sense. They're not pointing, going the same way. They're pointing, going in like opposite each other. I hope that makes sense. But I'm always saying it, but I don't know if it ever makes sense. So I'm just, again, doing the same process. And I told you, I just perfect this off camera on the first go. I kind of just give myself a guide. And that's all I'm trying to do for this nail. And so once I got done, I decided I wanted to do a stripe across the top of it. And I just do it one stripe across the candy cane top just to give it some type of a pop. You guys know I love a metallic pop in my nails. I, 
I don't know. That's just my thing. I have to have the, some type of sparkle or something somewhere. So now I'm just going to shiny top coat these. And I do do two coats. That's because I regain my shape after this. I noticed that it was looking a little bit bulky. So I tried to regain my shape and I tried to buff the top down, make it smooth and all of that. And then I did another top coat off camera. So I'm going to use these three colors to draw with. And I'm going to make a snowman. I am so excited to draw this. I am trying my hardest to get better at snowman and drawing. This one is not perfect, but I really like how it turned out. So what you see me doing right now is kind of making this gray a little bit lighter. I want it as close to white without being white, if that makes sense. I'm trying to, I would have made him white, period. But I wanted to try to do highlights. I'm trying my best to learn how to do highlights and all of that stuff. So I thought maybe a gray snowman would be better, like as light as I could get him without being white. And I think it turned out really well. I just need to learn how to do highlights. Uh, that's kind of where I messed up today is I, I need more practice with drawing. So I'm just kind of putting a big circle at the top and then I'm doing a round circle at the bottom, but it's not complete for the body. And I'm doing all of this with the dotting tool. I did almost all of the drawing with the dotting tool. It's, it was so easy. And I'm going to be honest. You will probably see me draw another snowman again next year. I just want to get good at this. And my hand just hit what I'm doing. But all I did was some eyes and then two dots for his little button. So I have to mix up an orange for his nose because I don't have the perfect orange. So I just used the red and the yellow from the previous kit I had review and again i will leave these both of these kits down in the description box down below in case you want to check them out and i did look at the one that i'm using right now the red and the yellow it was 6.99 so i would get that <laughs> that is a great deal i would get that if you wanted to get these colors it was a pastel set with a darker red i thought it was really pretty so i'm just using the dotting tool again to kind of make that nose you just do a light pressure to do the little point you kind of start with heart a heavier pressure and then light to get to that point if that makes sense and then i did the mouth and this is where i kind of add in some highlights again i don't think i did these right i was trying i think i need more practice but again i love the way this turned out i have done a, another snowman tutorial on this channel as well and i'll leave that in the cards up above if you're interested it is a long nail set and then I'm doing this little scarf. And I did the scarf in red. And I did that because I didn't know what other color to use or choose. And then I thought about it. I could have used that dark gray. I could have used the black. There was like, I could have used a bunch of different colors. I could have even did a gray. I didn't have to use red because I felt like it kind of got lost. But it made sense at the time. And so once I get all of these drawn, the scarf and the hat, I will go back in off camera and kind of do the outline of the snowman because I could not get it on camera. I could not draw any of this on camera. So that's him with his hat high, highlighted. That was not highlighted, but drawn with the black around it. I think it turned out so good. I really like it. And just in case you're like me, you're not the most confident with your snowman, use a glossy top coat. It hides a lot more of your mistakes than a matte top coat. A matte top coat brings out features and then the glossy kind of takes some of them away. So just in case, that was a tip. If you're not the most confident, just put a glossy top coat on it and it will really help you to hide some of your mistakes. So I just put some bling gel on that nail and I'm going to take these rhinestones and bling out this nail. I don't know. I've always wanted to do this. I did it one time, but I've always wanted to do a red bling nail. So as you can see, I use the bigger rhinestones in the middle of the nail. And then once I get toward the outer layers, I just start using small rhinestones just so that it can help me maintain the shape of the nail. And I got that tip from Tabitha Scott. You guys know I love her channel. I'm always quoting her. So, and that's what I did. And it really does work. I didn't feel like I lost the shape. I didn't feel like I made the nail bulky with these rhinestones. I will say that sometimes they had like this big gap in between where the bigger stones were. And I just used like a little bitty tiny, tiny red rhinestone. 
because there was like some really really small ones in there and I just went in between those and filled in those gaps as well and that kind of helped that I love the way this turned out like I was so excited I'm telling I've never done this whole red blinged out set before so I was excited I love the way this turned out so here is the result this just turned out so good I really do love it I love the little candy cane nails I love the bling nails and the snowman this is so pretty to me I love it so I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched who has watched this video I want to say thank you to Rosalind for sending out this polish I hope you understood what I was trying to do with this set which was basically create a set you could draw with or use this set in a way that you could draw um, Thank you for joining me. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I do new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I want you to have an amazing day and have a happy and safe holiday, guys. Bye!